press conference and apparently I offended a lot of Americans oh, and uh, yeah. I'd like to apologize to none of them <laughs> because <laughs> really yeah. I mean I, I'm I used to work for the UFC mm. I'm a huge fan of mixed martial arts combat sports going back to the 90s I used to watch you guys um, every chance I could and we had to wait patiently a couple of months in between events um, and it was like Christmas every time there was an event. The excitement in my belly was incredible. But then we entered this era of weigh-ins, face-offs, and fake hype, where they're all sticking their middle finger up, swearing, disrespecting everybody, and it became a circus. And I, it's become boring for me, and I blame America for it. Yeah. Now, bringing back the, uh, the, the traditions of combat, respect, honor, and sportsmanship, and just getting in the ring and showing who you are by the way you fight, what's wrong with that? And actually, these guys, you have to remember, if you become a world champion or a legend, oh, I need to stop talking because this fighter yeah, <laughs> looks fantastic. Thing, guys. But what's wrong with showing, becoming, being a gentleman and a sportsman and becoming a role model for the youth of tomorrow? What's wrong with that? And well. Deutschev here coming out, throwing some heavy bombs. Yeah, really strong. He's failing already. You see, he's, uh, he's developed somehow in, his, in the beginning. Nice low kick there from the Wolf. Kriakidis. Oh, big lady shot. Well, you can't, uh, you can't, let, let's, uh, let's address the elephant in the room. Kriakidis looks like, yeah. uh, I don't know, he, well, he doesn't look uh, like he's it. been in a gym for a little while. Yeah, yeah. His conditioning is not of the standard of Christian Deutschev, who looks like he's been chiseled out of granite. <laughs> um, it is. And that's what we expect here. Like I mean, you can't guy. judge a book by its cover. Yeah, that's true. But so far, it, it looks really strong, Deutschev. Um, Karikidis is just trying to hold on, double defense, stepping in and waiting for his momentum. While wow, Deutschev is really, he's, he's fading, he's, he's uh, able... He's rangy as well. Yeah, he's able to use a lot of things from his arsenal, his low kicks, high kicks, body shots, uh, uh, punches to the head, straight long punches, even when he's high, switching switching stands from orthodox to southpaw. Lovely check there wow. of that kick. And he wanted to demonstrate how a Kyokushin karate fighter can transition very well into kickboxing. And I yep. think at two minutes through this first round, he's already done that. Mm -hmm. And he avoided those big swinging punches there from the Greek. Yeah, I think he needs to avoid the, the double defense from uh, Karikidis. Just, just he sh shows that he wants to go for a close combat and hopefully he can hit with a big overhand with the right hook. But even now, he's also kicking. So you see that Deutschev is a little bit holding back now. He got some, not surprised yet, totally. But what you can see is Deutschev is all also really standing straight, you know? So he's a bit vulnerable, I think, in my opinion. If Karakidis can stay small and slow and try to make the distance smaller for him, it can be an interesting fight. Well, we've seen it before. You see, I mean, okay, we're critical of uh, Karakidis' apparent conditioning, but Deutschev, has come out like a, you know, throwing everything, and very well, let me say. Uh, but he could, he could punch himself out in the first round. Yeah, that's what I just maybe thought it, it was in my brain to Ooh, see. Oh, that was a nice counter there with really the right hand. Big right swinging hook. punches. You know, Grant, what I've what I've seen a lot right now, I see a lot of low kicks in the first round. Yes, and you know, then you have me. That, that's what I like to see, you know, not only head hunting, but also the body shots, uh, combining with the low kicks, but then the high kick, you know, that's, in my that's opinion, kickboxing. kickboxing, yeah. Yes, yes, that's yes. The name. Yeah. Now, it was it was interesting to see there because uh, Deutschev, he checked a couple of kicks and he took a kick on the thigh just at an angle, um, but he did actually take a couple of heavy low kicks there from Killing Kiedis. And I'm just looking at the corners now. Kiriakidis looks like he's blowing a lot less yeah. than <laughs> Deutschev, yeah. um, who's sitting down. I mean, it's going to be a fantastic... Uh, as this fight unveils, unravels. And as you can see in the, in the, in the re uh, replay, you see that uh, Deutschev is straining up. When he, when he gets attacked, he keeps high. So he's not... That's the karate. 
That's the karate that's exactly. coming out. Thank you to, for telling us, uh, yes. the audience, to see what happens with the karate. So he's adapting a lot, but you see that that could be a possible disadvantage in the near future or in the future. But let's see what the second And it's interesting, so a lot of the karate guys, I mean, Dolchev's come in very, very well, don't get me wrong, and this isn't a criticism of him, but a lot of karate guys are very backwards and forwards. Yeah. The lateral movement is lacking. Exactly. That was a nice spinning kick attempt there from Kirikides. Now, well, Kirikides looks very relaxed. I feel something coming, Grant, somehow. What do you think? It's intriguing because I'm even looking at. I don't want to. Oh, nice low kick there. Yeah, uh, you see. His Karikides stance is blocks a, a lot now. You His see? stance is uh, unorthodox. They're using the right lock bolt. It's yes. strong. And again. Strong. You see, uh, Kirigi is pulling himself, leading leg up. Yes, I think he doesn't want to have locks anymore. And Kiliakidis is the one who's on his toes, bouncing. Yeah. yeah. A bolt. No. Awesome to see. Uh, it's an interesting fight. Well, he's going to come up to me afterwards if he wins this fight and say, there you go. Yeah, there was a big swing on the back yeah, of the hat. Judge a book by its cover. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's flexible too. You can jump. Flying the tree. Now, Deutschev is on the back foot. Yeah. Completely the opposite of the first round mm -hmm. because he came out like a Terminator. Nice knee there from Kiliakidis. Oh, a nice the jab. He's taking the lead. Oh. Well, he threw a big overhand right there on the end of that combination. Again. Ooh. No, that Ooh. wasn't a knockdown. The kick went over his head. Let's see. It is Ernesto's giving the count? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure that was a knockdown. But Kenny Akidis is not complaining about it, no. so... So he's easy in the fight zone, probably. He feels it. He feels there's something okay. to get. Oh, oh that, if that lands in the right place, those spinning back kicks can be devastating. Tries one of his own, does Kenny Akidis. What you can do, I can do. That was a lovely right hand, and then a left kick from uh, Deutschev. Well, what a difficult fight to score, Andy. Mm, yeah, so far, if, if you count the eight counts with it, I think uh, Deutschev is in in the head, he's in an advantage. Well, lovely combinations yeah. here. I think he's caught. Oh, Ooh. that was a lovely right hand. And I have to say, the pace of every single fight up to yeah. now tonight has been incredible. That shows a bit of tiredness there from Deutschev. Yeah. He threw a spinning kick and then just went down himself. Yeah. Not in balance. But he should be tired. Everyone should be tired. If you're giving enough effort. Well. Okay. Um, I don't know what to say, Grant. <laughs> to be honest. Well, we missed the scoring of the first round, yeah. which I would have to give to Deutschev. Um 10-9 yeah. to him. I think uh, uh, Karikidis came back really strong in the second. I think he was, yes. a, was, a, was ahead I was until giving the eighth count, but it wasn't an eighth count. And does the judges... Count it as an eight down. Is that possible? Well, it will. It, it'll have to be. Do not count. It will have to be a down on the judges' scorecard yeah. because Ernesto counted yeah, it. Yeah, that was it. And uh, uh, so, does that make it a ten-eight? And one thing, I, one thing I've always struggled with, and I did speak to the British Boxing Board of Control about this. Everyone says that if a fighter gets a knockdown, it's a ten-eight. Now, what if a fighter's beating hell out of another opponent? Yeah, and completely and dominating that round, and then the other fighter in the last second knocks you down. Is it still a 10-8? So and they be. say no, it's ten a 10-9. Ten ten so you still <laughs> win the round, but, but not okay, a 10-8. Yeah, they are the officials. But so. Yeah. Okay, there we go. But I think, that, I think that will be a 10-8 to Deutsche yeah. in that second round. So if we go into the third and final round, this fight seems to be going very, very quickly because of the pace. Oh, big punches there from Deutschev. And he needs to keep that up. And Karikidis has to uh, take some, some, some risk to take the lead or to take adv advantage. The advantage on the end of the fight. Yep. 
there's that low kick again from Kiriakidis, which was damaging early on and again. Yeah, and just something to tell. I think the karate guys are really, really, uh, they, they can take it, they, they can, the Kyoko they can beat him on the, on the legs, yeah, so. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's u uh, use, useless, but I think, I hope he can keep trying it and to force something, but yeah. So, ooh, well, they're both, they're both throwing bombs. heavy bombs. And Deutschev still focused, still coming forward. Kiriakidis, I feel and he's not showing everything he's got. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for some. Oh, he oh, and and he and then a, a right, and then hook. right hook. Yes. What a sneaky, fast one. He surprised him almost. Well, okay, they're getting tired now. They're getting sloppy. But yeah, that's where crazy things can happen. And we've seen it here in the century. <laughs> a fighter dominating a fight for three rounds and then he gets knocked out because he just loses his composure slightly. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. come on, guys. Well, somebody must have slipped in the ring and stolen Ernesto's, who, uh, Ernesto's shoes. <laughs> One minute to go, guys. Well, <laughs> only Ernesto can do that. Yeah. Less than a minute to go. Great. And both fighters have given it everything. And Christian Deutschev here, with the reputation of Kyokushin Karate on his back, comes in. At, I mean, at, man. Whoa, Valentinos wow, Kiriakidis wow, wow, is wow. dangerous. Oh, oh a big right a hand! Oy. Man, I th if he'd followed up, that could have been oh, a different outcome. Wow, wow, they're exchanging a lot. We're coming up. We've got 15 seconds left. They need wow. to go. Hammer Let's and go, Tom's guys. here. Let's go. Give us a surprise. There we go. There Last go. 10 seconds. Oh. Torchev doesn't stop. Kiriakidis goes down, it wasn't a knockdown, and we're gonna hear the final bell. Ding, Whoa. ding, what a fight. At least it was really spectacular. <laughs> God damn. Well, the fourth fight of the night, and we're getting nothing less than absolute full fat fight Fire action here. Ex exactly. Well, both fighters there deserve a round of applause, I have to say. I'm going to give the third and final round of 10 9 to, uh, to uh, Deutschev. Yep. Um, I'm with you. But what a performance from our Greek competitor. Absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and it's worth noting that uh, Kiriakidis is the Greek kickboxing champion from 2018 to and 2020. But I'm just wondering whether he let his conditioning go slightly from since then. So we wait for the judges' scorecards. Yeah. I think we're in and agreement. Both, that, yeah, they are both waiting like like something is happening for an extra round or something. Okay, well, they need to keys. prepare for an extra round. Yeah, yeah, to be honest. So they were so standing still like they already knew or know that there's an extra round coming. I'm not sure, guys. Yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not the judge. Here we go. Where do we go to? <laughs> 29 to 27. 29 27. Blue corner. Judge Snoop, 30 to 27. And Judge 3, 29 to 27 for a unanimous decision oh, in the blue corner. Deutschev, guys. Well, Deutschev yep. got it, but if, that's a, if that was a 30 27 for the second round, they didn't score it a 10 8. No. No, 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 Deutschev made, made, made an eight count uh, to Karikidis. Yeah. So it is a 10, 10, 10. So after he has 30 points. So if it's 10, eight, and 10, 8, 10, probably eight, uh, and, eight, and eight, 8, and 8. Maybe it was a 10, 10 in the beginning. Okay. Then he lost two points, eight counts, 28, and he lost the last round, 20. Uh, maybe I'm looking at seven. it too. Nah, too I don't closely. know, I'm just guessing, huh? I'm going <laughs> to go and have a look in a minute. Okay. But Absolutely fantastic victory there for uh, Christian Deutschev. And let's just say here and now that these fighters are setting a standard that 100% isn't enough.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I but mean, if you come in now after the first four fights and you're giving anything less than 110%, you're going to look lazy. Yeah, true. Um, but that's being said, Grant. If you look at the first three fights, they were really technical. There were some slugfests, sees, but this fight was like they wanted to knock each other out. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Were going these for these it. guys were swinging. Yeah. yeah. And it was a little, little bit more, more rougher. Untidy. Yeah. And maybe, do you think, I think it gets like that as the weights go up, because the first three fights was Thank under 70 kilos, and then this was under, under 85. Yeah. 